Hi everyone, this is going to be the reading for Scorpio for July 2024. This can apply if you're a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars as well as North Node in Scorpio. Uh, do be sure to check out the other signs in case this reading does not resonate. Also do keep in mind that this is a general reading so not all the messages may be relevant to you. So take what resonates, leave out the rest. And also if you'd like to drop me a message to book a reading, you can contact me on Facebook or email. The links are in the description box below and I'll get back to you soon. So Scorpio, I'm going to pull out a couple of more cards for you and then we will start the reading. So what else do we have for Scorpio for July 2024? Okay. So I have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. I have the Five of Swords in reverse. I have the two of cups in reverse and I have the six of wands in reverse. Okay, so it's quite a mix of energies in the month of July for you, Scorpio. Um, there's a bit of chaos. There is some collaboration. There is uh, balance. There's a sense of victory. All of it. It's a big mishmash happening here in the month of July. So I'm seeing the three of pentacles in reverse. Three of pentacles is about collaboration. Um, it's about partnership. It's about uh, building something together. Um, but I don't think that's your energy right now in July uh, because I don't think you're in the mood to collaborate with anybody because this is coming up as a reversal, right? It's not in the upright position. So I feel like this is uh, you not wanting to really partner up with anybody. Quite literally, if that's a romantic relationship, maybe you are kind of taking time to be by yourself and not really wanting to be in a relationship right now. Or if this is about business or just uh, collaborating with someone for a business purpose, maybe you are choosing to be like solo and start your own venture on your own. But basically the point is that you're not really looking to collaborate or partner with anybody right now in the month of July. I'm also seeing the five of swords in reverse. Now the five of swords this is coming up as a reversal so I don't think this is your current energy but in the past you may have had a lot of people causing a lot of drama tension and chaos in your life because this five of swords energy is about um, always having to look over your shoulder people trying to cause um, chaos in your life there's just a lot of disturbance in the air it's never peaceful um, like you always have to be careful about your energy and who you spend your time with you know very very chaotic energy and the thing about it is that Scorpio generally uh, you like to keep to yourself you are a feminine sign and you're a bit of an introvert mostly like Scorpio people are very private generally so you don't generally like to get involved in other people's business but I feel like in this context other people were trying to get involved in your business which is when you kind of retaliate because you don't appreciate that you don't appreciate people being intrusive into your privacy so maybe that's what happened i'm seeing the two of cups in reverse as well now two of cups in the upright position um again i want to go back to this five of swords energy because i don't think this is your energy right now like i said you are either you've cut off these people from your life or you've sort of distanced yourself from them because you you can definitely do without all that drama scorpio I'm seeing the two of cups in reverse as well. Now two of cups in the upright position refers to balance. Uh, it also refers to a potential romantic relationship. Uh, if it's just about you, then it refers to like balancing your own masculine feminine energies, being at peace with yourself, being really content and balanced in life. Now, this is coming up as a reversal. Uh, so I don't think you're in that state right now. There is a bit of extremism going on in your life right now, Scorpio, because um, two of cups is about being balanced. And in the reverse position, it means that you're not in that position right now. And Scorpio, you are a bit of an extremist. You are a sign of extremes. Uh, it's all or nothing for you. So you you do fluctuate between um, being extremely one way or the other. And uh, I feel like in the current state, in the month of July, I feel like you're not really uh, finding that much balance. There is something that is a little bit out of sorts in your life. I will do a clarification on this. Um, I'm seeing the Six of Wands in reverse as well. Now, Six of Wands in the upright position refers to this energy of victory, of conquest, people congratulating you after having won the war, you know, coming back from the war and people... Uh, just metaphorically speaking, people congratulating you and it is about victory and uh, the celebration afterwards. Uh, but I feel like 
in because this is in a reversal position i feel like you want to conquer something but something is kind of keeping you from doing that or there is some kind of obstacle that's happening i will do a clarification on all these because it's a little bit vague right now uh, what is this three of pentacles in reverse for scorpio yeah i'm seeing the ten of swords as a clarification for sure this was a betrayal by someone uh, if this was a business partnership or from business context somebody definitely betrayed you very badly if this was from a job front same thing somebody just did you dirty quite badly and uh, you know it left you feeling quite uh, down in the dumps and not really wanting to even rise up again but then you are the sign of the phoenix so you're always going to rise up no matter what but the point being that now you're not really ready to collaborate or partner with anyone now if this was a romantic relationship then again the same thing this person definitely betrayed you you felt really let down by them and you're not really looking to be in a relationship anytime soon i mean you're just uh, sort of recuperating right now what is this five of swords in reverse for Scorpio? What is this five of swords? What is this five of swords for Scorpio? I'm seeing the magician in the reverse. So I feel like see Scorpio, you are often known as the sorcerer. Uh, you do have very power, very powerful abilities to manifest things in your life, uh, which is why the magician energy uh, often relates to your sign as well because you do have these abilities naturally within you but because of uh, because i'm seeing this in the reverse position I, and i feel I'm, it's a clarification for the five of swords as well i feel like the people around you they were just really upsetting your energy and your balance in life like i said the five of swords is just very chaotic dramatic energy always having to fight a war never being at peace that kind of energy and that is not very conducive for manifesting or just making things happen and flourish in your life so i feel like these two are connected because these people were preventing you from uh, living up to your fullest potential they were just really obstructing a lot of gifts or rewards that were coming your way uh, but you're anyway done with these people so you're kind of unlocking that energy anyway what is this two of cups in reverse for scorpio what's this two of cups yeah wheel of fortune in reverse okay so balance is really important when it comes to attracting and manifesting things in life um, and because you're kind of feeling out of sorts right now you're not really feeling that grounded or centered with yourself the wheel of fortune is also coming up as a reversal now the wheel of fortune is a slow moving energy but it definitely magnifies as it moves now it's a very jupiterian card as well sagittarius like um, it's about abundance it's about good fortune luck all of those things um, because this is coming up as a reversal this blockage is because of you not feeling balanced in your life so everything in moderation scorpio i feel like that's something that you can learn from your sister sign taurus ground yourself a little bit more if needed if you're feeling out of sorts if you're feeling unbalanced this month do taurian activities um, you know work with the soil um, do things that make you feel grounded and centered that is one way to really open up the energies and move things your way what is the six of wands in reverse for scorpio what is the six of wands for scorpio okay we have the strength card in reverse okay so like i said if this was a romantic relationship it really threw you off guard i don't know um the thing with that is scorpio you take a long time to open up in a relationship you don't trust people that easily which is a good thing you shouldn't be though like trust has to be earned but the thing is when you do let people in it becomes simultaneously your greatest strength but also your greatest weakness you know because you are opening up a part of yourself that is usually that you keep guarded and so if you're not careful with your choice of partners they can really leave you feeling um, uh, depleted of your energy and because i said you are the sorcerer this can have even more profound effect on you scorpio like if you're not careful about your the partners that you are with it can really um, damage or affect the way you manifest as well because it's all connected in with you it's all connected uh, especially and like i'm seeing the six of uh, wands in reverse i got i got the strength card as a clarification strength is coming up as a reversal um 
maybe this person just made you feel a little bit powerless or not in control and that is something is very scary to you Scorpio because you're all by Mars and Pluto and Pluto is about control and you know being able to be in control of yourself most importantly and I feel like this person sort of made you lose control of yourself and that's not a very um, that's kind of a scary place for a Scorpio to be in um, which explains why you're probably not looking at relationships anytime soon but I will say this that Scorpio once you start feeling more grounded and centered once you come back to your own center things are going to start looking up automatically I mean you are the Phoenix you are going to rise through this there's no doubt about it that's what I have for you Scorpio for the month of July if you like this reading give it a thumbs up uh, drop in a comment if it resonated and if you'd like to book a reading drop me a message on Facebook or email the links are in the description box and I'll get back to you soon thanks a lot for watching guys I'll see you in my next video bye bye